In this video, we will discuss the concept of abstract labor in Marxist studies. In the first volume of Capital, Marx delves into the concept of value and how it underlies exchange value in the capitalist system. When two commodities such as a coat and linen are exchanged, they represent the individual labor time invested in their production. The labor time required to make a coat is being compared to the labor time required to produce linen. However, the concrete or specific form of labor differs for each commodity as individuals vary in their skills, efforts and time spent in their production. To understand how these distinct commodities are quantitatively related in exchange, for example, when 20 yards of linen are exchanged for one coat, there must be a common element that equates them. This common element cannot be their use values as coats and linen serve different purposes, one for warmth and the other for bedding. It cannot be the specific labor expended as the production processes for coats and linen differ. Marx deduces that the only way to equate these diverse use values and their specific concrete labor is to abstract from them. This common element is termed abstract labor, labor that is detached from the particular use values and the human labor expended on creating the commodities. Abstract labor serves as the general abstraction of labor and is the foundation for the exchange value of a commodity. In a capitalist system where commodities are produced for exchange to realize surplus value, all labor is reduced to abstract labor. This means that the value of a commodity is ultimately determined by the abstract labor invested in its production rather than the specific qualities of the product or the individual labor of the producer. Marx's analysis reveals that abstract labor serves as the essence of value regulating commodity production and exchange by acting as a measure of value determining the socially necessary labor time required to produce a commodity. Various producers may create coats using their specific and concrete labor, but they only ascertain whether their labor time is socially necessary when attempting to exchange their goods in the market. The market in turn works for standardized and measure the specific labors against each other revealing the socially necessary labor time for producing a coat, which becomes the representation of abstract labor expended by society on that commodity. For example, if it takes an average of 8 hours to produce a coat, that becomes its socially necessary labor time, influencing the fluctuation of its price in the market. However, this value is subject to change as capitalists strive to produce below the existing socially necessary labor time. Technological advancements and intensified worker exploitation can alter the exchange value of commodities such as the coat. A rise in productivity can lead to a reduction in the value at which goods exchange. Abstract labor plays a crucial role in understanding how capital implements the real process of homogenizing labor through the division of labor. This division involves breaking down tasks into simpler ones, allowing workers to easily interchangeable in a production line, a characteristic feature of advanced capitalist organization. As a result, labor is abstracted and becomes a practical reality in advanced commodity production systems. This homogenization of labor and its reduction to common tasks across various occupations 
also serves to unify workers as a working class posing a potential threat to capitalism so the recognition of abstract labor as a common thread among workers fosters their understanding of collective interests and empowers them to challenge the capitalist system this recognition of the workers as shared class identity poses a challenge to the capitalist order which relies on the division and fragmentation of labor to maintain control 